Hey everybody and welcome to Michael Hartung International. Today I've got some cheap flights for you from Minneapolis to Spain and from Dallas-Fort Worth to Spain. You can either follow along with this video to watch as I go through Google Flights and how I find the flights and look at the dates and the prices, or you can simply put this on in the background and listen to it. And if a date pops up or a price pops up that you find particularly interesting, go ahead and check back and reference the video. Once again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's go ahead and hop in and see what we've got for cheap flights from Minneapolis to Spain. Let's start there. So we're gonna go to Google Flights and we'll get into Minneapolis here and let's just scroll down to the map which is how I like to start we'll pull us over here to Spain and just kind of look so already we've got some pretty good ticket prices right to Madrid for 447 round trip you've got to Sevilla that's 546 round trip uh, some cheap flights to Portugal as well if that's where you'd like to go Granada 544 and Malaga which is the city with the main airport I live closest to is 460 round trip so uh, the main thing here let's just go ahead and pop in and see what dates we've got let's start with Madrid uh, and, and I always say head to Madrid first, explore that city for a couple days, and then if you want to see the south of Spain, hop on the train and then take the train down to Malaga or down to Sevilla or to where I live in La Linea and uh, spend a few days down in the south of Spain as well. That's a really easy way to do it. Okay, this is actually an awesome flight. Uh, Sunday, March 27th. Uh, leave Minneapolis at 12.45 into Chicago for a couple hour layover. Uh, you leave Chicago at 4.35 and you land in Madrid on Monday morning at 7.45 a.m. That's a 12 hour total, not just flight, but total time with your layovers and whatnot. So for 4.48 round trip on American and Iberia, that's a great price. And then let's see what we've got. The return flight leaves you at 450 that's 17 hours a longer layover in Chicago but then again that's what's going to happen especially that you only have one stop I mean that's so much better than having two stops to get back into the U.S. so and that's coming back it looks like a week later on Monday April 4th altogether a good flight out of Minneapolis to Madrid is 450 round trip departing on Sunday March 27th and returning back to Minneapolis on Monday, April 4th. So that would give you a good week in Madrid, in Spain. Once again, great tickets. Let's head back over to uh, Google Flights here and just look at some of the other dates. It looks like throughout the month of March, there are various dates, round trip tickets available from Minneapolis to Madrid for $450 through April 450. Through May, we've got some 450 tickets, and then at the end of May, you're getting into fives and $600 round trip tickets from Minneapolis to Madrid. Great deals, great prices. Even here, if you wanted to, let's say, extend the trip and stay for, let's say, 10 days, there's still those options available here to make the trip longer throughout March and April. So those are really, really good deals, excellent deals from Minneapolis to Madrid. And the other one I saw was Minneapolis to Malaga. Okay, once again, this is a pretty decent flight here. Let's see, this one's shorter. Uh, you've got one stop in Amsterdam for five hours. So Minneapolis, direct to Amsterdam. You leave on Monday, March 28th at 4.50 p.m. That's great. You get to Amsterdam at 8 in the morning. You got a five-hour layover there, which is enough time to walk through, get through customs, find uh, a place to sit down and wait for your next flight, which takes you from Amsterdam to Malaga. And Malaga is, of course, in the south of Spain. So that is actually a really good ticket. And then on the way back, unfortunately, we lucked out. There's not as good of a price coming back. Let's see if we can change the date here. Okay, so this isn't a bad one. Minneapolis to Malaga, Monday, March 7th to Sunday, March 13th. So that's a week in the south of Spain. This is awesome, 12 hours. Minneapolis to Charles de Gaulle. You get to Paris the next morning at about 8 a.m. You have an hour and 20 minute layover, which basically means you have enough time to get off the plane, walk through customs and walk to your next flight before you're getting on board. And then you're in the south of Spain at 11.50 a.m. So you leave Monday night and you get to Spain Tuesday 
Tuesday morning. And that's an awesome, actually a really awesome flight. And on the way back here, I found a good one here for 14, that's a 14 hour trip duration, total of $464. You leave Malaga at six in the morning, you're in Paris for an hour and 45 minutes, and then you leave at 10.25 a.m. from Paris, and you arrive back in Minneapolis at two o'clock p.m. So that is actually a really good ticket too, especially for 464, especially flying on, flying with uh, Air France or with Delta. Excellent, Air France is an excellent airline, and I highly recommend it. This is a really good ticket too. So Minneapolis to Malaga seems to have some good opportunity as well. So Minneapolis to Malaga, I'm finding some $460 round trip tickets throughout March. And then tickets to Malaga get more expensive, but there's still 468 in April. We've got some $530 tickets in April. Uh, so still some pretty reasonable fares. We've got some $480 tickets, 495 in May. So some really good reasonable tickets uh, from Minneapolis to the south of Spain throughout March, April, and May. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dallas. Let's Let's go Dallas to Madrid because we'll start there. That's always a nice flight. Usually from Dallas, a lot of times you can get a direct flight to Madrid. Not always, but sometimes. So we've got through March a 485 round trip, 500 round trip, 488 round trip. Uh, so some good March flight opportunities. April, 488, 485, 485 round trip tickets throughout April as well. Uh, still really good prices. And in May, there's a couple days for 488 round trip as well. Let's just take a look at these April flights. Let's pick, let's just keep it easy. Let's do a seven to a 10 day flight here and see what kind of uh, options we get. 14 hours, you got one layover in Philadelphia with a 14 hour travel time. That's 440 round trip out of Dallas to Madrid. This one, it's 11 hours, 11 minutes, but by the time you land in Dallas or land in Chicago for this layover, you don't have much time to get to your next flight. So I wouldn't recommend that. So this flight, leaving Dallas Wednesday, April 6th, returning back to Dallas on Friday, April 15th, with a nice 11 hour flight. Look at that. That's beautiful. For $600 round trip from Dallas to Madrid. That's excellent. So let's just look at this really quick. Leave Dallas Wednesday, April 6th at 10.35 in the morning. You get to Philadelphia. You have a four hour layover in Philadelphia. You leave at about 7 p.m. from Philly and you land in Madrid at 8 a.m. the next morning. And then, and that's Wednesday the 6th, and then you head back to Dallas on Friday, April 15th, and that's a direct flight. So that's absolutely beautiful. For $600 round trip to have a direct flight back from Madrid to Dallas, that's lovely. I've taken this flight before. Main cabin is a little bit, uh, you know, you can get kind of crowded in. You might, if you do basic economy, you might want to upgrade just to pay for your seat, but if you don't care as much, it's okay. Or you can, pick a seat afterward, but sometimes you get thrown. I've been thrown into a middle seat before, and that's a long flight when you're sitting in between two people you don't know. If you're coming with two people, it makes it a little, little easier because you do have someone else to be there with you. But this is a beautiful flight from Dallas to Madrid in April for 6.05 round trip. Here, let's look at Dallas one more time. 400 round trip to Malaga, 5.69 round trip to Gibraltar. The Gibraltar airport is a 10 minute walk from my house. And if you follow me on any of my social media, you'll see that I take airplane videos of these airplanes that land literally right next to me. So that's why I love flying to Gibraltar because I get to walk home when I get off that long airplane ride. So I'm just gonna click on that just because I like looking at these prices. Ooh, that's a beautiful price. Dallas to Gibraltar, Saturday, April 30th to Friday, May 6th. That's a 15 hour flight. Let's take a look at this because right now there's not as many flights. So sometimes the leg back is really long, which I was right. 29, 28, 32 hour leg ride back. And the reason for that is because there's a long overnight layover in London. 
So this is a good flight if you don't mind spending a night at a hotel in England. Let's just head back here to that Malaga flight for 400. So Dallas to Malaga to the south of Spain here where I live, of course. We've got Saturday, April 30th, $467 round trip. Uh, Dallas to Madrid, you've got a three hour layover and then Madrid to, so even still Dallas to Malaga, throughout uh, March. I've got a $386 ticket, 386, 401. Throughout April, they're all, all the tickets are in the 400s, 464, 469. Really great ticket prices through March and April. And even in May, Dallas to Malaga, you've still got uh, tickets in the $400, $600, dollars range from Dallas to Malaga. And just, let's just take a look. April 6th, that's 433. Let's do a trip from Dallas. Dallas to Malaga and see. This is a great one right here. Wednesday, April 6th, you leave Dallas at 340. You get to Paris at 8 a.m. the next morning. You have a slight layover there, and then you're into the south of Spain at Malaga at 12.15 p.m. for a $464 round trip ticket. Let's select that flight and see what we've got back. Once again, you can't get any better than this. This is great. 464. This is a flight I would take, although I don't like getting up for this return flight and being at the airport, but a 6 a.m. takeoff the next week, and you have an hour and a half layover in Paris, which is enough time to land, get through customs, and get on to your next flight, and then you're in Dallas at 1.35 p.m. So this is a beautiful flight from Dallas to Malaga. These are short trips, a 13-hour trip to the south of Spain and a 14 hour trip back. Round trip ticket for $464. So those are great prices. So once again, we've looked at tickets from Minneapolis to Madrid and Minneapolis to Malaga and we found tickets as low as 300 in the 300s. And we've looked at tickets from Dallas to Madrid and Dallas to Malaga and we found tickets for $460 round trip. So if you're thinking about a trip to Spain, that's a recap on what's going on on in the world of Google Flights and how you can find uh, cheap tickets to get to and visit Spain. As you can see on the picture here I've got pulled up, we've got round trip tickets as low as 394 to Barcelona, 464 to Malaga. So some really great ticket prices throughout April and May. Thanks for joining Michael Hartung International. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please like, share, and comment on this video. If you're traveling to Spain, I will include a link in the description below that has the requirements for what you need to enter Spain. But like I said, Spain updates that every week and it seems like more and more countries are slowly being taken off the list. So don't discount travel yet. It's still very possible. Thank you for watching Michael Hartung International and I look forward to seeing you here in Spain. Check out my other videos to see other cool videos about what Spain is like. Have a great day, everybody.